What's up everybody? Today we're going to uh, change gears if you would and we're going to talk about this behemoth I have in my hands that won't even fit in the whole uh, camera shot. This is the Roven XLT450 and I'm going to give you my short term review on it. Here we go, we got the Roven XLT450. Um, I'm going to take the lid off and show you what's underneath. This is a clone of the Losi MTXL. It is very similar. What we have here is, this is a real nice red anodized air cleaner. This has a Roven UFO style air filter on it from the factory. And then I just ordered a Roven outerwear to go over it. Um, as you can see here, this is the 45cc Roven motor. Um, I did take the plastic cover off because this thing between this pipe restricting the flow and this is a dual ring piston. It just makes so much heat. I'm trying to get this heat out of here as much as I can. And I thought maybe taking that shroud off the top of the head would give me a lot more cooling. Um, I haven't noticed a difference yet. As you can see, I used a um, Duplicolor Metacast, it's called, and it's a uh, anodized style coating on this pipe, and it looked beautiful when I was done with it, but this motor is just getting way too hot, and it, it you can see it burned it right off. Um, this machine is heavy, it's super heavy, I just don't think it's geared right and between the dual ring piston and the restriction coming out of this look I mean look how tight that is the restriction coming out of that it's just it can't get the heat out so this motor runs very hot in this truck moving on we got these nice anodized chassis braces in the front and the rear. With these anodized chassis braces we have the anodized shock towers. Everything on this machine is just done very nice. Everything's freaking amazing for the color wise. On these turnbuckles we have uh, red anodized turnbuckles as well. Right here, what I did is, this is a very sloppy connection. So what I ended up doing was, I used a real good Teflon tape, to put it on the, uh, the male threads here, because the Loctite, there wasn't enough surface area for the Loctite to actually work on this. Um, so that's what I did. And these haven't moved at all since I did them. Got a 7075 aluminum chassis. It's pretty strong. Really haven't been able to jump it too much because of the heat issue I'm having with it. Um, I'm hoping to get that squared away uh, either with a Bartolone pipe. And I did hear that maybe TMR is coming out with a pipe for this. Um, I could be wrong. More candy. And then the, the best part about this machine is this comes with 10 millimeter shock shafts. They're huge. Try bending one of them. I bet you somebody will, but try bending one of them. Dual steering servos. These servos are pretty much adequate. Um, I'm not sure I like this push-pull system, but it's gonna do for now. The anodized uh, center diff carrier. Every, all this anodized stuff is beautiful. This really is a very, very pretty machine.
So my footage kind of cut out there at the end, but um, a couple things I wanted to mention. This is the original exhaust coupler that comes with the exhaust on the XLT450. And like I said, I'm not lying about that getting hot. Um, this is roached. It only lasted about two runs. So I took a tech tip from Jeff at Eastside RC and I went with the Permatex high temp um, silicone, the RTV silicone. And I just put it cleaned um, both sides of that slip joint up real nice with some brake cleaner and then put some of this on so that when I slid the slip joint over, it made a real nice seal. Has it leaked since? Um, so that's a real good tip. And it looks a hell of a lot cleaner than that having the rubber boot on there. The other thing, when I first got this, uh, got this truck I was um, looking it over real good and the carburetor um, mount got damaged during shipping the, the plastic spacer in between the carburetor and the, the head of the motor um, so I took that off and I was looking down into the head and it was scored to hell I got pictures of it I'll include some pictures in it but um, I would like to shout out customer service at Roven RC. They're uh, top notch, two thumbs up in my book. They ended up sending me a new motor, of course, after I sent the the roached one back and um, I was happy with it. Um, and if you have any questions, I've been talking back and forth with them uh, with questions I have via email because I'm going to put a single ring piston in that um, in that motor and then I'm almost thinking about trying to do a little port work myself because I do have an, a spare 45 cc engine um, that I can put back in there if I screw it up but the cases are cheap and and you can always buy another head so like I said I'm just gonna try and do a little port work on it maybe uh, maybe a little polishing um, sorry I'm just Thinking out loud here. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention. Um, this is the only other exhaust coupler that Roven has on their website. And this is not going to fit on that. So this is the part number here. Is my fingers covering it up. And it's backwards, of course. But um, if you try and order that, it's not going to work. Um... But other than that, uh, I think this is going to do it for today, and uh, see you on the next one.